Steve's here yet. Steve, are you scratching your head a little bit as to how you didn't win that? Yeah, and I think like there's sort of a couple of feelings, isn't there? The one, you know, we will definitely be the team that's disappointed not not to win. Um, but like I've said, after tough tough results, I've always taken a step back and, and looked at the context. So for us to be coming to a game like this, um, I know Powell's had a couple of injuries, but they've still got a really experienced team they started with. For us to be coming here playing like that and, and keep a clean sheet and getting a point, we would have killed for that at times last year, shows that um, we're hopefully a club on, on, or a team on, on an upward trajectory, you know? So, um, yeah, but at the same time, we want to be winning games like that. But, you know, you look at the two chances we've, we've created in, in the first half and a couple of other good moments. And then I thought we... Um, Mateta's had a, a, a decent chance, I think, to be fair, but it was from a little bit of something we should have done better with. But they've, they've had a bit of the ball at the first sort of half of the, of the second half. Um, but they've not really created a part, part from, from that. So we've also showed that keeping a clean sheet there is something that we, we, we're learning to do well as well. And then finish the game as strong as we did with set pieces and a couple of efforts and some good saves. Shows you that, um, like I said, two things is that we are disappointed in a way that we haven't won. But deep down we'll know that we've done some really good things tonight. Yeah, almost... Um a maturing kind of a way performance, perhaps. Well, Is that think, a way to put it? Well, I think we have to take into account that we've got so many new players in the club and we're trying to do things slightly different and we can't just, you know, change the plan completely and think this is going to, it's going to take time. I think over the last few games, you, you know, in possession particularly, you've seen some good signs. We haven't quite been able to put the whole performance together. Um, but hopefully that will come. You know, we stick to the plan and we stick to what we want to do. It's only our second season, as everybody knows. I'm speaking to the, lo the local people there. It's our second season and um, we, we, we will we'll respect that as well. And like I said, to think that we're keeping clean sheets here, what would we have done for games like that last season at times? And, you know, draws can be helpful in the Premier League. Um, and um, tonight, like I said, we'll take a lot of heart and um, positivity from how we played and how certain individuals played. But also knowing that you know, we want the mentality of, of winning these games. You mentioned earlier those couple of chances that you had in, in the first half. I mean, if either of those goals goes in, yeah. it's goal of the season, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think um, Morgan, we we felt because of the way Palace are and, and the way Roy sets his teams up, there'd be more space on the sides than, uh, than through the middle, which, as you saw, that, that, that was the game. Um, so that's where we played him a, li a little bit wider. And he... Um, you know, I thought Morgan was, was really good tonight, you know, in terms of, of attacking and, and, and defending. And, and you're right, he, um, he, you know, he knows if to play wide, you do have to threaten and penetrate the back line as well, which is something we've have challenged the players with the last few games. So to do it as he did with that pass from Murillo, I think, probably, um, <laughs> then um, it would have been, as you said, a brilliant goal. And one he deserves, to be honest, because uh, he put so much effort in for, for the team while carrying a lot of responsibility for being one of the creative ones as well. So I'm really pleased with Morgan tonight. Um, the Marilla one, yeah, it's ended up being the chance of the game. We're on the back of doing something, you know, spectacular. You know, we're first of all stepping in, which shows you what, what, what uh, centre backs to do going forward, and then um, and then dribbled like a number ten, and you know, should have bloody scored really, shouldn't he? So, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, everyone's asking me about um, Marilla, but I've also um, got to look at how he's defended tonight as well. You know, the, 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 the chance and the passing range and the composure and the positioning with the ball will will um, be the obvious questions to ask me. And all of them things he did really, really well. And that's that's what we want from our centre-backs going forward. But then at the same time, you know, he's he's headed the ball. He's, he's, um, he's read interceptions. He's tackled well. He's defended crosses. You know, and that is what a centre back needs to do. So, um, so we're really pleased with him. We're really pleased that how we started in the first two games. It was I wanted to be careful about when I put him in. Um, so he's got a little bit of know-how with his with his younger boys. I wanted his first game to be at the City Ground. We felt that after a little bit of getting grips of Premier League, he did some really good things last week and just gave him confidence to play like he did tonight. He's a talent, you know. And we're enjoying working with him. Good guy, um, but it's a start and get working with him again next week. It doesn't go away in national duty, which is great, so we can work with him. And um, hopefully he can pick up where he left off after, like, yeah. like the team. You'll have a few here. I mean, you'll have plenty away as well, but yeah. you'll have a few here. And I guess 
every every minute, if you like, working together counts mm. at the moment as you, as you gel them. As I said, because we've got so many new players again, and, and you know, um, pe people will sort of see um, while uh, what we how we're trying to go while keeping what we had, what we end up having last year with spirit and the togetherness and doing whatever it takes to get a result for this club, you know. So. Um, we won't lose sight of that, and I said that to, to, the, to the boys before the game. I actually showed a screenshot of Leicester away last year and said, you know, since this, look, don't lose sight of this, we're away, but can we do this with the ball? And I um, can't believe I brought that game up, can you, from, la from last year? But, that, but like that, that was a real reference point of, of changing and we're building. Um, but we've got to work even harder than what we worked this week going forward. Um, I, I, that's the only way we're going to get better. I know exactly what I want it to look like in the future, but it's a lot of work to get there. It's about a year ago, isn't it? it must almost be exactly a year ago. Compare that to what well, you've and, seen and, today. And that's what I mean, you know. And, and listen, hopefully, we, in some ways, we're only getting started, you know. And like I said, certainly in the Premier League, we respect that, you know. We have to defend with our lives, you know. And if sometimes we don't have much of the ball as what we want, then that's okay as long as we defend like we did tonight. But but when we get it, we're showing good signs. You know, Nicholas Dominguez has come in, Sangari has come in, he's only getting stronger. It's hard, this league, you know, especially when you haven't played in it before. So, um, like I said, let's not lose sight of the fact we didn't win tonight. Um, but I think we will look at it and go like, OK, some good signs here. Let's capture them, build on them and um, see where it takes us. And just a very quick word, Steve, I shouldn't let you go without a word for Taiwo. Yeah. Out for about a month, is it? Yeah, I pulled his groin, managed to keep it quiet, obviously. Well, I hope I did anyway. And um, yeah, it's a blow for him, obviously. He started the season so well and he did it in the game last, last week. Um, so um, the only, yeah, it's, it's not a good thing, but what I would say is he had a serious injury last year, kept him up for three months. The way he committed to that and came back better than what he was before. And, he, and when he got injured that time at Southampton, he was in good form. Shows that you know the, the right sort of attitude and recovery. He'll do exactly the same again. Obviously, won't, won't be as long as that one. So, I, I got to say, I thought, I thought the, the effort and the know-how Woody and the experience give us tonight shouldn't go unnoticed. You know, did he get loads of what he wanted, crosses and chances and combinations around the box? No, um, but the way that he guided, um, you know, Palace's centre backs, who we were both excellent with the ball into certain areas to allow us to nick it on the next one. You know, he deserves a mention, I recognise that. And he's worked really hard uh, in training, uh, Woody, and um, I, th I thought he took his opportunity tonight, probably not in the way that he wanted, but, you know, we, we respect what he did for the team.